So Marcus, I'm sure if you guys are on TikTok, everybody knows who this guy is. Marcus DePaulo, however you say his name. Uh, he did a video on the GameStop thing. I mean, he just didn't explain this well. And then instead of saying like, okay, yeah, maybe I got it a little wrong. He like lashed out and like said people were attacking. I don't know. Well, just we'll check it out. GameStop story is the least important thing you will hear about all week, but I'm going to explain it anyway. GameStop is a store that sells games. A lot of people on Reddit are betting money that GameStop will be super valuable in a couple years. This is upsetting to banks because when a lot of people try to make those bets at the same time, it gets very expensive to buy into the bet. The banks are betting that GameStop will not be valuable because most people buy games through their consoles, Steam, or online. But regular people want GameStop to stick around because they like the store. Long story short, regular people and big banks are playing a game of multiplayer spreadsheets with their money. It is safe to completely ignore this story. This bullshit. Okay, not only is that not a good, like, a, and I understand he's like, oh, I'm, I'm trying, uh, I'll play the other video in a second. He's like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do a quick breakdown, but that's like not even like the, the, the fundamentals of the story. But then to say, oh, this, this story doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. Uh, let me talk about this one executive order that Biden did. It's like, no, dude, this story is extremely important, especially it, like if you're somebody who follows the news and stuff, like if, if you're like, if you care about things that are going on in the world, this, this story is very important, to, should be very important because Wall Street, the ones who have been the largest contributing factor to why our economy has you know flash crashed or you know has gone in the shitter and reason we've had to give bailouts like you know it's a big fucking deal the you know one of the 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 most one of the biggest weaknesses and reasons that one of the things that people have been screaming about market manipulation is finally being exposed by the little guy and it's important and not only is it important because of what is happening, but it's important because now more people are understanding that this finance stuff, maybe it's not as complicated as people are making it out to be. You know what I mean? Like the, uh, you don't have to be some 20 year series seven past uh, hedge fund investor in order to expose the weakness in the stock market. Like this is a very, very important story. So to just say like, I've never seen him be so animated about a story not mattering. Like, I don't know what his, his beef is with this story exactly. But then, after that, a lot of people in the comments are like, you know, hey man, like, uh, this, is a, this is a pretty big deal. Attention adults that follow me. I write for middle schoolers with learning disabilities because I am an adult with a learning disability and I remember being in middle school and wanting to understand the news, but there were just too many different concepts I didn't understand and too many names I didn't know. So adults, you are welcome to stay, but I am never interested in your input. I fully understand what's going on with GameStop. I used to do some day trading. I'm just not going to explain. Okay, first of all, I don't know, like, I used to do some day trading i don't know what that means exactly like whatever but i god man that just seems really full of yourself like you you you're never interested in uh critique from your from your audience the people that built your fucking platform like i'm not gonna let people tell me how to make my content but you know if People in my audience are like, you know, hey, you know, maybe uh, you kind of got this a little bit wrong or this happened. Like, I'm fucking human. I'm open to criticism, especially if it's constructive, which a lot of people were being very constructive with Marcus here. And to say like, oh, well, I make uh, videos for people with learning disabilities, which I mean, I guess. OK, but like your video that was even for people with learning disabilities, like you didn't give them correct information. And not only that, you didn't just give them information. You told them the story was pointless. Like, and a lot of people get their news from this guy. Like Marcus is probably one of the people that is like most, like one of the sources that people trust the most on TikTok. You know what I mean? So like all these different people that are like hearing this story and like seeing a bunch of people excited about it. And then they see Marcus like this story doesn't matter at all. And it's not a big deal. I think that's, you know, I think it's really short selling his audience.
explain illegal market manipulation to teenagers because I don't think it's necessary at this point in their lives. So let me Why? Why? The, the, the literally one of the uh, one of my biggest beefs with like schools and stuff is that we don't teach enough about finance. One of the things that is the most important in your entire life is how to manage your finances and things like stocks is a way people can actually you know not not just make like a quick come up but understanding how to do finances properly is a way people can build wealth over a long period of time and something like this can be like the gateway to open people up to looking into finance more so i i don't care how old you are if you see something that interests you you know like look into it say it's super simple. If you can't emotionally handle the fact that I write for people with learning disabilities and not you, unfollow me. Attention adult. Like, well, I don't understand. Like, what people offering a critique on a story that you did not explain what, like, you, that was not a good explanation of what the story is. And then you told people it wasn't important. Like, people trust you as a, a serious news source you you are a verified creator who has been on msme fucking c uh 2.6 million followers 100 million likes holy fuck i i feel you owe it to your audience to one not give your personal opinion on the story like that like i don't i really that's the part that really just confused me like oh you don't have to give a fuck about the story and Two, you just like, you kind of got the fundamentals of the story wrong. I, I really hate it when people get like this shit attitude with the people that follow them. People aren't like coming at you. Like I've seen several videos of people like, like, hey man, uh, you know, you kind of got this wrong, that wrong, like no big deal. Like people aren't like coming at you in like a heated way. They're just saying like, well, there's a little more to it. And you know, X, Y, Z instead of, you know, Z, Y, X, how you explained it. And you just got extremely pissy. I don't, it seems odd to me. I don't, I just don't understand it. People on the internet just really cannot handle crit, like any criticism at all. This guy gets showered with compliments on a daily basis. Cause you know, he's a, usually a pretty solid news source, but he is human. He's allowed to get shit wrong, but don't, don't tell people like, oh, you, you didn't like how I got that story wrong. Well, unfollow me. I'm never taking your constructive criticism. You peons like, dude. It just ain't that serious, man. And then, you you know, then, like, uh, he's blocking people on Twitter. Like, he blocked Justly Deserved. I don't know if you guys follow him, but he's a good creator. And, yeah, he blocks him. It's going to his head. Maybe. Yeah, it was a really, yeah, it was a really just prickly response. Do, do, do. Sweater is dope. I don't know. I don't understand, like, the one sweater shtick on tiktok though you have that other guy adam rose he always wears just one sweater uh that cardigan and then marcus i've never seen him wear anything but that red thing yeah exactly all you guys on uh tiktok there youtube twitch link in bio yeah that is a trump attitude like oh like that you know i'm never gonna admit i'm wrong like if you don't like if you don't like the way i uh do my content just unfollow me it's like, dude, you're the one that didn't explain it well. Like, if you, it, you know, it's not like, it's not like a bunch of Trump people coming after you because you said Q wasn't real. It's people saying like, hey man, you're like, you're getting the fundamentals wrong. And then you're telling people on top of that to not give a fuck about the story, which is probably one of the most important stories. Even if you don't be a finance bro to care about the story. Like, it involves a pillar of what makes our shit economy shit. It, it. Like it, it is exposing the worst part of Wall Street short selling. It is exposing that and it's bringing it into light. A lot of people before this probably never even heard of short selling, didn't know what it was. And now they find out, oh, fuck, you mean to tell me there's a bunch of guys making billions of dollars off crashing companies into the ground and they collude with each other on a, on a weekly basis to do this? And a couple of guys on Reddit expose them for the frauds that they are? You know what I mean? Like it's a, I don't know. I don't know why he's like, t maybe, maybe he has like an uncle at one of these hedge funds or something. It just seemed, yeah, it, it just seemed weird to me. Like, it's so like, not like him, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't watch his stuff that much. It pops up on my For You page occasionally, and he seems like he's usually pretty based. Like, he kind of just gives the news and that's it.
Anyway, while you guys are here, if you could like the stream, really, really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitch and subscribe. Hey, y'all, thanks so much for watching another video. Remember, if you want to support me, the link to my Patreon is in the description. Also, you could subscribe to me on Twitch. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, you get one free Twitch subscription, so you can do that. All the links to everything are down in the description. You can follow me on TikTok for daily content. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Also remember to join the Discord and don't get red-pilled.